So in this video today, we are going to react to good and bad SOLIDWORKS CAD parts. Yes. Let's get started. Hello everyone, my name is Adrian. I am joined here by Tushar today. Thanks for being here, Tushar. I'm really, really happy I'm here. This is a, this is a long time overdue. Oh yes. <laughs> um, yeah, my name is Tushar. Um, I am also one of the enthusiastic um, a learner of CAD and also, also a teacher of CAD at times as well. I learn more than I teach. That's good, yeah. So Tushar has also got a YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the description below if you are interested going to have a look at his channel and videos that he put out on mainly SOLIDWORKS. That'll be nice. Yeah, so do Thank check you. that out. Right, so first up, we're going to play a game. Guess the part. We're going to play the game. <laughs> Guess I, the part. I like this already. So, so, so it's going to be completely rolled back. And yep. then I'm going to... I'm going roll to it forward. roll it forward All and right. then you need to try and guess right. what the part is. Let's do this. Let's All do right, this. let's go. All right, so are you ready to show? Yeah. Okay, so blank canvas. That is nice. I'm going to do the first one. Revolve. What is that? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's one of them Lego pieces. Oh, yeah, okay, what specifically of a Lego piece? Um, it's the main guy, isn't it? It's the main guy. It's the main guy from Lego. Yeah, you're right. Well done. That was that was easy. <laughs> I tell you what, what, the reason I know that because the color is so iconic. Yeah, and, and, the, and the, the shape and the profile, it just gave it away first first yeah. time. So it didn't take it was like a fraction of a second. I'm yeah. really proud of myself. Well done. Yeah, yes. so so I mean like looking at that, obviously the first thing that you always do when you when you make a part is to yeah. try and get I always feel like when you ex you need to extrude something out and yeah. then you need to cut away all the pieces. Would yeah. you agree that it is easy it, Going and making any part would be to first extrude like a block. It's almost like a, yeah. a clay, a piece of clay, where you then sort of cut out and make Definitely, it definitely. I, I tend to draw parallels with the manufacturing process as well. Even now, it just helps, helps oh, loads yeah. and loads of times, really. It's, you know, because Revolve, to me, it, it's like instantly it is, it is turning. You know, it's been turned. Yeah. Um, and so that's, yeah, that's that also... That's a really effective way of getting yeah, something like this with a, with a non-standard... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the, so drawing. And I mean, just by doing that, you already yeah we already have all the down. dimensions yeah most yeah. of the, the beauty of doing a revolve is um anybody who is manufacturing it for you mm. um and they if they have if they're looking at a technical drawing they know all the diameters they need to be manufacturing yeah. too and when you're on a late mm. diameter is something you measure you can't measure the radius oh, easy, okay. you know so dime it's you just put your caliper along the the, the path across the, the, mm. the part mm. and then you have a diameter right there oh look it's smiling it's happy yeah. and something else that i also want to mention is putting the fillets right at the end yeah that's a good because i've seen a lot of people where they they create some yeah. sort of feature and then they fillet it and then they create another feature and they yeah. fillet it that can cause quite problems down yeah. the line because as soon as you start creating something to reference something else and you might reference the fillet edge and that Indeed, can cause yeah. cause problems yeah you, you lose the fillet it. yeah you lose mm. the edge when you fillet it right yeah, uh, and so also once again it's it's the same thing as manufacturing you know when you're doing a deburring operation you do it at the end of the process you don't yeah, do it to start true. with really you take oh. the burrs off in the edge so hence yeah. you know fillets are meant to be in the end yeah, yeah so, so love so it lesson one from this is <laughs> think about the manufacturing process. definitely think yeah. of manufacturing it's right. we're cad is never away from manufacturing all right okay next part so right, what do we have here this is a crane lego crane very nice and they've actually gone and shared each individual piece that they use so i'm always i'm always of the opinion that lego is the yeah. best way to Definitely. practice cad <laughs> to get familiar with whatever software you're using lego is the best way because it's it's structured but it's it's Yes. blocky but it's yeah. got some complex yeah. geometry as well yeah i like the i like the prismatic shapes you know they're not mm. they're not super they're not organic shapes they are you know standard cylinders yeah. yeah so i think it's a really good practice for anybody who is new to cat to yeah, take on definitely. legos definitely and, and it's good and it's good also to practice assembly because <laughs> this can be tedious because it's a lot of parts yeah. there's 228 of them here to do the mating and making sure it's fine but it is good so like you've done it properly or this one is set up properly that if I, if I, the gears will all... Oh, I'm, I'm poised to see if it actually... The one thing, the one thing is that the rope yeah, doesn't right. move, well, with it, oh, right. but the gears do. So the gears will move, which is great, which is a, a gear mate. Yeah. And you can see the gear, the far oh, end yeah, is also yeah, moving. They're turning, they're turning. So that's, that's nice. So that's good. So proper mating of the gears. And then you also have the other one, which controls the arm which is also nice, this one at the back. The one thing here that's funny, and I, and I don't know if this is, let's just do that. So I'm just moving it and then the arm will move, but 
the yeah, rope's yeah. not moving. Yeah, <laughs> so the rope loses position. Yeah, but I think I, oh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how they put the rope in, but it, it's done as a rigid. Yeah, part, you know, yeah, yeah, but still, I mean, the whole arm is, yeah. is yeah, doing fine. I think, I think, in terms of solid works, we won't be able to do the deflection of the rope and over the edge and stuff. That's not something. That's a, a, well, actually, it's it's possible with a lot of brain cells. I think you just need to sit and, <laughs> and, and you, if you've got time and, yeah, you, and patience, then you can. So basically, what it is, it's a tangential relationship between all of those pulleys that that's supporting the rope. Uh, right, so you yeah. could set up a sketch mm. to say always remain tangent to those, to pulleys. those pulleys. So if you put it, if you it yeah, if you when, as you move the boom arm up mm. and you know the pulleys go along with it but then the sketch will update itself know, you okay, want it to update, update itself and yeah. and when it does update itself you want it to turn into a nice sweep oh, nice and it's the rope you oh, know yeah. so yeah it will definitely take time oh, yeah. <laughs> oh well then you got a proper set of then assembly yeah. set of i must say after after you completed this thing you yeah. will really know how to use it's so rewarding yeah and yeah. I even mean, there's so many room for like patterning so you can sort of yeah. just do patterning over there you get and and you can have parametric so like for instance here we've got a lot of these yellow yes, bricks yeah, yeah with different number of holes and yeah. you can actually go and you can build yeah. like a parametric or a parent unit Definitely. with a number of holes which you can then go and have a variable for and say Definitely. I want eight holes and it yeah. updates it to eight holes yeah because I think there is a there are lots of repeats on here wall thickness mm. doesn't change you know the, the, no. the overall thickness of the, the brick doesn't change size of the um, size change. of the hole doesn't change so there is there is room for 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 somebody yeah. to optimize so you can yeah and you can re so you can really optimize this this you whole thing this, yeah so if you liked what we're doing so far, do remember to give this video a thumbs up. If we get 100 likes, I don't think I've ever gotten a video with more than 100 likes, we will do it again. We will do it again. And you can Definitely. put suggestions in the comments because yeah, please let us know. Um, getting it from GrabCAD every time can get a bit monotonous. All right, so next up is the Audi R8. Now, the interesting thing about this thing, this yeah. part has been the most downloaded on GrabCAD of all time no way uh, 80 80 thousand downloads i don't know i think a lot of likes but it's been downloaded the most why do you think that is well i think that's how many people work in audi <laughs> <laughs> but they don't have their own thing <laughs> they just like, they just downloading their own thing H oh like this process is taking too long i just need something I'm like <laughs> yeah 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 let's get it on grabcad the interesting thing is so like this is like crazy realistic so like when you look, look at, at the grill the yeah. grill the, oh the God, lights. The I mean, it's the it's just the, the realism. Amount like the amount of detail is crazy. It's obsessive detail. Right? Even even the seats are great. Like you can and the dash. Everything's great. But but <laughs> let's go and cut it in half. Let's cut it in half. And now when when we cut it, you can clearly see where the detail has gone. So obviously the outside of the car as well as the cabin. But yeah. then sort of the engine compartment and well no the engine is yeah. at the back yeah. Yeah. <laughs> engine at the back and the trunk is just sort of a surface in a sense yes yes and with a little oh they forgot to put the engine in they put in the exhaust manifold <laughs> and put nice. the engine so it's just it's just interesting to me like why would you why would everybody download it what what would be the use for it because yes the interior is very yeah. very accurate the outside Definitely. is very accurate what springs to mind is sort of CFD flow in Yeah, definitely. The flow analysis of this will be quite interesting. Also, I wonder if you can uh, 3D print this car. You know, wow. probably probably that's going to be one of the reasons why everybody's downloaded it, to, to be able to 3D print, 3D print it. You especially know? Those, those, those... Yeah, and that's why you don't need the things. details of the engine, because you're not mm, looking in it. You, know, you just need the yeah. outer shell as much as possible. We're going to play again, guess the part. So go, go open it up. I love this game. <laughs> All right, no, so yeah. guess the part. So first thing, obviously, boss extrusion, which is always a good way to start off with. Oh. What do you think that is? What can no that be? Idea. No idea. All right, no idea. Is that something like people are familiar with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a very common object. It's a screwdriver. A screwdriver? No, it's not a screwdriver. No, hang on, hang on. Oh, oh you think that's like Yeah, I'm point. just thinking whether like, like that, is that... things. That yeah, you right, okay, to... cool, right, okay. okay so I... Yeah, I got a yellow card then. Right, let's, <laughs> let's go and have a look. Oh, it should. It's coming. Is that a chess piece? No, it's not a chess. That's a good guess, though. Oh, it's. It. I can see why you think that's a chess piece. Yeah. I can't wait be... now. Oh, oh right, okay. Well, that doesn't help. That doesn't help. Like both sides. No. No. I'm being a right numpty here. Oh, got a little. If if, if you know, put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> see. Oh, what's going on there? What is this? What is it? What is no, it? come on, Shah. What is it meant to be? Oh, no, 
Jeez. How bad can I be? What do you? Is that like some sort of connector, like a plug? Oh yeah, yeah it's a plug. Is it a plug that, actually? Yeah. <laughs> oh right. I was just gonna. Say Hang that. on a minute. This is non non European. Yeah, this is it, probably. It is, this is European. This is European, is it? <laughs> yeah. Like well, obviously, yeah. Like, well, I was no, thinking no, right, right. The like, UK is not part of I'm Europe not anymore, is it? So <laughs> this, I was gonna say this is American one, but then this isn't American one. This is European no, one. You're right. European one, yeah. Oh, the details on that is ridiculous. It's this really nice. good. It's really nice. Yeah. There was no way I was gonna guess that, right? It was just a stab in the dark <laughs> it was a stab in the dark i was thinking like being a european plug and it's not being used at all in the uk that might be a bit yeah a definitely bit now this is an interesting one really nice as well it's really dumb, uh, once again one of those things like everybody's got those you know like mm. just sit down take it apart measure it with the caliper and, yeah, and, and, yeah, and, and reverse engineer the only thing concern again is like all these features just like boss extrude 2 boss extrude 3 That's boss extrude and that obviously for this game that was a good idea because yeah, i would have yeah, known that was a good idea i would have known otherwise game, yeah. <laughs> so yeah so in this case for the game you should, no, should not rename your features <laughs> this is great yeah this, yeah so I'm and really i mean it's it's a very simple simple part but it's still yeah. so much we're oh, going so many into details going, on there, going yes. in there. Yeah, definitely loads of details going. And on and that's the thing. Like even if you if you have a very simplistic part, that yeah. doesn't mean the CAD is simple as well. No, no. You can have not. complicated CAD for a very simple part. Definitely. Especially if you yeah. try modeling a spoon. Oh yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> try modeling. Try a spoon. modeling a spoon. You know. Oh, <laughs> All right. Gonna yeah. play again. Oh, Guess the part. Good. This is really fun. I'm enjoying this one. Oh, oh, you're not giving much away, are no. you? <laughs> what, what is this, Deshaun? Oh, big black what box. Is this big black box. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Can we rotate that? Is it just rectangular like that? Oh, hello. Oh, it's got a little bit of... The black doesn't make it difficult because you can't like see it. Like almost that. like it fits in your palm or something, right? It's meant oh, to be like, like, a, like a mouse or something like that. Mouse. I don't think it's... Uh, it's oh, you see, he's gone, he's gone and did the fillets. Oh, there we go. oh, this is one of the buckles. This is oh, the snap well buckle. Yeah, it's now, we ran this as a project. We did the male and the female part of this. Oh, and really? This is, yeah, yeah. This is one of the n nicest things you can do. I just I like the sound when you put in like clicks, Click. you know. Click. 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 Beautiful. The, yeah, the, yeah, so sweet. Yeah, oh, so and the detail. This is, the this is nice. This is actually a nice organic one, nice, really. Yeah. yeah. If you turn it around, on the other side, there are lots of fillets on the on the bit that connects to the the, the, the belt, you know. Oh yeah. And yeah. if you if you don't put those fillets in, you're gonna have stress concentration, and yeah, that's why it's gonna fail eventually, you know. So yeah. yeah, especially that roundedness, mm -hmm. it's necessary for it to for the longevity of this. Otherwise, it will important. it'll probably fail. Yeah, oh, they're definitely important. Yes, fillets. We love them. Remember your fillets. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's like you know, like meat. Yeah. Remember your fillets. <laughs> remember you. Nice. All right, next part is the SAE Bajar car. No, actually, nice. I think I got this from an Indian team, actually. They shared it on GrabCats. Very Thank nice. you very much. And I really like this because it's they did a lot of effort in putting up their logos, doing the color coding. Yes. Especially, like, even if you go to the little... You've got your Fox suspension. Oh, so, they're wow. so all the number decals. 33, all the de so it's very nice. So, one, they can actually use this for sort of a presentation or they can put it in a visual effects yeah. um, thing and they render it nicely make it got a nice little background so it's it's for presentation purposes this is perfect but you've got all your different parts of them as well and the parts are la they're labeled nicely of yeah and they, they're non, non english so i don't really know what they mean yeah. but um but yeah so in a sense the nice thing is i imagine for the team yeah They'll have a standard server with this thing and then somebody is, for instance, responsible for the cage. Yeah. So they would then just go and right click and open up the cage, do their little FEA analysis, do exactly. their little build of materials, which is obviously also very important when you want to manufacture it, cut the pipes to size. Definitely. And then somebody else is, is, is responsible for the suspension arm, somebody else is responsible for the seat. So it, it's a really nice, really nice setup thing, which I think is, is really great. Um, for efficiency and for the team to have a local, um, a centralized sort yeah. of assembly. Which is I love the good. details on the tires as well. They make oh, them yeah, the so tires really, are you know, really realistic, nice. proper off-road tires as well with That's all the grips. And I think it, it's really handy having this, you know, oh, you got the approach there, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, in terms of dynamic study-wise and all that, and you, you're probably this is more of your area than my area, really. Yeah, when yeah. You know, when when you're look, yeah, looking at the stiffness of the system and how, how your dampers interact, how your mm -hmm. suspension system's working, mm -hmm. this is ideal. I mean, there's no going away from this um, this approach. And the nice thing is also is like, obviously with the SE Bajar, you can't change anything on the engine. Right. So then you have all your different parts which yeah. you work on, you design, and then the engine, you would sort of just get one part. You don't yeah. really care about the inside of the engine. It just needs to be uh, correct in terms of sizes, and right. then you just put it in. And you see, all right, my cage is fitting nicely. There's no overlap. Yeah. So, so everybody gets that particular yeah, 10 horsepower yeah, yeah. engine. 
Test. And then, then then the test is about the um, whether your structure lasts or not. Yeah. I want to open up the, 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 the cage quickly. Yeah. I think this is something that, um, especially if you are part of the SA budget team and you know, you're know you responsible for manufacturing this and welding this actually, Yeah. the amount of time spent on getting this, this those ends right. correctly because you need to cut them to fit over other pipes yeah. and they need to be properly flush with the faces so that you can get a nice little weld yeah. seam. The thing is like obviously from this you can now get a bill of materials with the sizes and the lengths that needs to be cut but looking at this you can see these three of these pipes here are all basically going into each other yeah, I know. and I know there's a function where you can cut it and I thought they did it so like this almost sounds like I think it was well, how they did it, they drew a bunch of 3D sketches, which is obviously fine. And then yeah. they just extruded the pipes through the right. pipe function from the 3D sketches. And then they've used this function here where they cut the pipe so that it sits flush with the surface. So then here they go and they use this feature where you can clearly see this pipe has been cut. Yeah, it's been morphed. So it's been morphed nicely to fit yeah. across this pipe here. And this one the same you can see that so they've done it at the few places and the other one i, I shown yeah. they haven't but that does help a lot in terms of manufacturing yeah. it because that is already done to correct um dimensions so just cut it the lengths correct they cut it they weld it they're done they move on Definitely. this is easier to do it's in service really mm. but then i think it's still manufacturing is probably the biggest monster you need to you need yeah. to combat really because you can you can dictate to SolidWorks saying use this one surface to delete a part of the other part. All right. So you yeah, can yeah. you can use 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 um, the skin oh, the of one of the well, yeah one yeah, of the cylinder yeah, as yeah. a blade mm -hmm. to remove the material oh, from okay. one of the yeah, other ones, and it just deletes one from the other, and it's quite nice. But even even if you do that, it's you know manufacturing wise, how do you get all those details? It's, it's quite. Um, yeah, this is the correct this, isn't it? the correct yeah. sort of circumference That's correct. of the yeah. outside diameter. I know there's a tool, actually, no, there's a tool where you can go and you put the, the, the pipe in and it cuts it towards a certain diameter yeah. rather than you having to saw like a notch yeah. and then filing it to that. Oh, that's, oh, that sounds so bad. Cool. You definitely need a jig <laughs> yeah. because it's all about having yeah. the final dimension fall in line. Uh, hats off to the people who are making this. Yeah, thing. <laughs> it's, it's probably one of the, yeah, exactly. It's, yeah. It's, um, it's a challenging thing. And for yeah. sharing this, this is, I must say, this is quite nice to be able to just to have this open up. So this is a hinge. A hinge. So this is part of Hinge, obviously. Yeah. And it's interesting, the way it went about it is actually, if you go and that. was in sheet metal mode. Yes. So had the base flange and then he just sort of bent it over yes. and then yes. extruded the sides, put the holes in. And the nice thing then about this is you can flat pattern it. Yes. To then, this is obviously useful for then now manufacturing because manufacturing then, yes. then they cut out this profile and then a second procedure will now then go we'll be to call it up really. yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a specialism i think sheet, sheet metal sheet forming yeah, in yeah. especially the this aspect of solidworks is a specialist one and yeah, um, yeah i've seen plenty like of jobs work, yeah, yeah indeed yeah. yeah and you can get jobs just working on this I side think. of things really now it's like obviously i'm not very familiar with sheet metal and stuff yeah. would would this be a better approach rather than to just do a normal extrusion i think this this is purpose specific this is once again going back to the manufacturing yeah. process really and if somebody intends to manufacture that using sheet metal forming then mm, this, this is clearly the better approach because yeah. then this can now be easily exported to Indeed, a file yeah. that the Definitely. manufacturing and people understand and that's the thing that's the thing what i like about solidworks it's got all these different tools for all these different applications because ultimately you as a cad engineer yeah. need to or you need to know the whole process not Indeed. zero from start and finish you just no. you don't just create a part give it to somebody and yeah. that's their problem yeah. now as cad engineers it's not it, you need to understand the manufacturing process Indeed, yes. because then you can design for optimizing that definitely i think it's all about manufacturing mm. anyway. what we're doing on cad is visualizing the manufacturing process and visualizing the end product yeah definitely all right, that's it. Thank you very much to for coming along. Excellent. It was really it was fun. So exciting. I enjoyed playing that game. I enjoyed being here, really. It was really, really nice. Yeah, the game was nice. I mean, yeah, I mean I'm going to carry on thinking about how didn't I get the plug? <laughs> oh, you know, I'm going to, yes, I'm going to think about it all night now. So if you've enjoyed it, you, you know about any parts that you want us to review or have a look at, put a link in the comments below and we'll go check it out. Definitely. And make maybe a second one. So Definitely. do like it. Yeah. 100, 100 likes. We'll make another one. I'll get you back and we'll do it again. We'll come back and we'll do it again. Yes. Thank you very much, everyone. Bye. Take care, everybody.